Hello there guys, welcome back to Eunice Talks Football, welcome back to a brand new video. I hope all of you are doing well today. Welcome to video number two of two. If you didn't catch the video from earlier on today, I'll leave a link for you guys right here. You can catch that uh, first and then come back to this or if you want to do it the other way around as I normally say I don't mind it's your call but stories from earlier on in the day are in that first video now we've got more up-to-date information we're gonna dive right into it I realized earlier on the video um, two things one people realized the unintentional rhyme that I put at the beginning what was it another day another dollar got a lot of stories to cover or something I think I said that <laughs> I've just got I've just got game like that. That's just that's just who I am. That's just what I'm capable of, right? And it wasn't even intentional. It just comes off the tongue without effort. It's effortless. So um yeah, anyway, that was nice that some of you pointed that out. Cause I was in the comments and I was going, oh, oh yeah, I did. <laughs> So, and secondly, yes, my voice was strained. Yesterday I was speaking at a very, very loud volume and I strained my voice a bit. I went for a birthday, very, very loud. Uh, so I woke up with a, a, a deeper voice than usual. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll get back to normal I'm sure by tomorrow 100% it's actually starting to already get better um, but let's dive right in we've got news from none other than uh, Saudi FC we'll call them just Saudi FC at this point because um, they're, they're coming in all guns blazing and um, it looks like we might actually have our first player heading off to Heathrow Terminal 4 <laughs> <laughs> As Stormzy said, um, over to Saudi. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Starting off with this. Fabrizio Romano saying, Al Hilal are convinced that Ruben Neves' deal almost completed will help them to convince also Khalidou Koulibaly. Club's confident to get it done next week as Al Nasser with Ziyech. Chelsea not considering Inter loan bid for Koulibaly as Al Hilal offer permanent deal. Also goes on to say from Di Marzio, Al Hilal have offered Koulibaly around £25 million per season on a three-year contract. I mean, uh, let's, 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 let's do the maths. Let's math it. Yeah, let's see what 2 plus 2 equals, right? So if I did, uh, if I did 25... Million, right? I'm sure over there will be tax-free. <laughs> so divide that by uh, 52. <coughs> Wow, okay, um, Koulibaly will be on a very, very generous £480,000 a week. <laughs> it's outrageous. On a three-year deal, how can he say no to that? How old is he? He's 33 now, I think. Or oh, oh, 32, 32, I think. Absolutely un unreal, absolutely unreal. So, Koulibaly is heading off to Saudi. And, um, hey comes off our wage bill i'd wish him the best i'm sure he, he seems keen who wouldn't and um yeah overall it means that even for our wage bill at chelsea the players that saudi seem to be coming in for are some of the biggest earners so this is going to help us a lot it's going to help us a lot so we'll get into more detail with that actually right now because there's a list of players that are very very close to or about to go to a saudi club this these are the lads so we've got Khalidou Koulibaly, Edouard Mendy, Hakim Ziyech, Abamyang. Says Chelsea could be about to move over £500,000 wages off the books whilst getting some transfer fees at the same time. You can't go wrong. Lukaku, yeah, if only he would go to Saudi as well, we'd be close to a million. <laughs> you know? We'd be at 800 grand in that case, in, off, off the wage bill. So look, in terms of um, all these players that are being targeted... Fantastic, fantastic. I've also noticed a trend. I've noticed a trend. It seems like Saudi, I know they're going for other players that are not, but the, 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 a lot of the names that are linked are, in fact, Muslim players. Um, it's, I'm guessing it's no coincidence. Koulibaly, Muslim. Mendy, same. Ziyech, same. When you look at um, other players that have already, or are, are, are probably heading off, Mares potentially, he's heading off. He's Muslim. There's, there's players that are being, um, you know, scouted almost. But you get other players like Ruben Neves, who isn't. Ronaldo was the first. He's not. Um, so, yeah. Seems like there's a, there's a core base. And then there's a few little gems that they go, okay, we want that one and we want that one. So, yeah. Um, we'll, see, we'll see what actually happens by the end of the transfer window. And who has actually gone to Saudi. Uh, I, I, I reckon it will be a list. I reckon it will be a list. But for us... 
it will help a lot if we were to get Koulibaly, Mendy, Aubameyang, and we're going to go into detail about Hakim Ziyech now. Fabrizio Romano tells us this. Negotiations between Hakim Ziyech and Al Nasser are advancing well. Chelsea are pushing to get it done next week. Player open to the move as he joined Cristiano Ronaldo. No agreement on personal terms yet between Pierre Aubameyang and Saudi clubs. Talks continue. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now, if we hear about what the potential uh, salary for Ziyech could be, we've got um, Santi Aouna who tells us this. Negotiations advanced for Ziyech. Al Nasser offer 12 to 13 million euros net. He earns 6 million euros at Chelsea. So basically, Saudi have gone, how much you make at Chelsea? Okay, we give you double. <laughs> how does that sound? <laughs> you know? Um, and that's basically it. So... Overall, he's going to be happy. Everyone that's heading over there is just going to be absolutely minted. Um, but for us as a football club, Chelsea, it just helps. We need to bring the wage... Uh, well, the, the owners want to sort out the wage structure. This is one hell of a way to do it. I have to say, um, we criticise the owners on many things. And trust me, I'm coming to that at the end of this video. Actually, it's the next story. Stay tuned. But... I also have to say, you have to give credit where it's due. The fact that he was, Todd Bowley was savvy enough, or I'm sure Bed Adagbali as well, to build that relationship with the Saudis, with the PIF, with, you know, get that bond going, is no coincidence now. The result of that is them coming in for all of these players that we actually need to get off our, our, our books, off our wage bill, and it helps our financial situation overall. So, yeah, um, that's one good thing. To compliment and and give good critique in relation to the owners. But that's going to come to an end now, isn't it? Because I see a lot of people steering the other way. And I'm about to give a lot of people a reality check, I think. Unless they didn't know. Now, if you didn't know, you're about to learn something today. But... Here is the latest on Chelsea shirt sponsor. Because we, we spoke about steak.com the other day, didn't we? Well, turns out Chelsea actually had other ideas. But they just weren't aware of the bleeding rules, were they? I mean, this is crazy. Let's just get into it. Here's the latest from uh, Mike Keegan of the Daily Mail. Exclusive. Premier League refused Chelsea permission to sign shirt sponsorship deal with Paramount Plus as they say it would breach rules. Club subsequently in talks with gambling firm Stake despite looming ban. If we go into more detail, the Premier League has refused Chelsea permission to sign a shirt sponsorship deal with Paramount Plus amid concerns it would upset the competition's broadcast partners. In a move that is understood to have triggered considerable, su considerable surprise at Stamford Bridge, Officials had hoped to complete a deal worth a significant sum with the American outfit. Now, some people, um, and it also goes on to say that they're going to secure a deal with online casino stake, stake.com. Now, the reaction from that was, oh man, look, they hate Chelsea. They just, the Premier League, they just hate us. They, they, don't, they don't want us to have anything, right? I get that, but not for this. Is there a campaign against Chelsea? 100%. We've been saying it since... How long? Probably 10 years now. We've been saying they hate us. <laughs> There's something against us. Yeah? In terms of the Premier League. We've had a problem with UEFA before them. So, yeah, that goes way back. But in terms of, yeah, the campaign against Chelsea, absolutely, right? I completely understand that there are times I look at it and go, flip, we're getting screwed over. Hence why, look, just not recently, the government intervened and took our owner away. <laughs> it's just... This is it. This is it. You know? So, and by the way, that money that came from that whole thing with getting Roman out, still not being given to where it's meant to go. And there's a whole dispute now between, apparently, the British government, the EU, and Roman Abramovich. Unbelievable. So, goes to show. Anyway, um, that's the story for a different day. But, in terms of this, this certain matter on the shirt sponsor, on Chelsea as Mike Keegan said in his article, we're at an advanced stage of coming to a deal with Paramount+. Plus. That means they've been talking for some time. It's not a thing of, oh, we just started speaking yesterday. Oh, hi, Paramount. Yeah, it's Todd Bowley. Uh, what are you saying? You up for being a shirt sponsor? All right, cool. Um, we'll talk tomorrow, yeah? All right, nice one. Like, that's not how it works. <laughs> that's not how it works, yeah? There's a process. So... We we are we've are at an advanced stage with Paramount Plus apparently, much like Inter Milan, done it 
and they got Paramount on their shirt, but they play in Serie A. They've got different rules and regulations. They've got different broadcast partners. They've got different different sorts of um things in place that either allow them or not or doesn't allow them. With any Premier League club, we've all known for ages that the broadcast partner of the Premier League are the only broadcasters that can be affiliated with any club in that league. We've known this. Sky BT, done. And Amazon now. But Sky BT, that's it. And before BT, it was just Sky. You guys remember, it, for the old school ones, before BT came along. It was just Sky. Virgin Media for a brief time. <laughs> but Sky and BT are the only broadcasters that any Premier League club can affiliate with. We've known this. Now, even though some are going to say, yeah, but no, Paramount Plus are not direct competition to them. We know they're not, but they're still a broadcaster and there's a rule in place. There's a rule in place for any Premier League team. It's a Premier League rule. You can't get any sort of sponsorship from any broadcaster unless it's the ones that are affiliated with the Premier League. Game on. So this tells me, as Todd Bowley, did, did, did Todd Bowley not know this? I knew this. Surely he must have known this. He either knew this and still went for it, which is just a waste of time, or he didn't know it and he's really not done his homework. Or same for Iqbali or whoever. A mistake like that, I'm so, a mistake like that for a stature like Chelsea Football Club, owners at that level, you're meant to know that. I'm sorry. For that, you're meant to know. Before you bought the club, that's something that you should have already seen. Surely. Surely. That's not something you get to an advanced stage with in terms of a, a, a partner or a broadcaster. And then all of a sudden you realise, oh, no, we can't do it. What? That's, that's, that's not professional. That's, that's amateurish. That's amateurish. But the fact that if I knew it, I'm sure many of you known it then. Surely. Surely. It's common knowledge. So I, this just tells me very bad preparation. Very bad preparation. Very bad research. You know, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, so, yeah, many people are going to take the angle of, oh, they're attacking Chelsea. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the owners here. That's our mistake. What are you doing talking to Paramount in the first place? You can't do a deal. It's against the rule. <laughs> Honestly, it's a waste of time. And this is... I remember a few days ago when this whole Stake.com thing happened. And I was like, How? we spent all that time since, since the whole Roman thing happened. We know that three were going to go. Right, Todd Bowley and Egbali came into the club knowing that three were out. So they'd already known that we need to go and find a new shirt sponsor. Right, we knew this from the from day one. For all this time, what have we been doing? When we got to Stake.com, I was like, "Hang on, what have we been doing?" Now we know. Now we know. We were wasting time, just wasting time. This was never going to happen. So, yeah. Honestly, that's where I look at it from. And um, now we're going to have to resort to Stake.com for a year. That's a consequence. Now, you know what? If we have Stake.com, that's that's not something that I look at now and go, oh, no, you know, we shouldn't have it. No, we put ourselves in the corner. Tough. We're going to have to wear Stake.com now. Tough. We're going to have to just suck it up. That's our fault. It's our fault. Deal with it. You know? Um, I, 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 I like to be fair. When I know that it's not our fault, and it's 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 genuine come from an outside an outside source it's come from a different place right then okay you can let's say you can play the victim right you, it, it's come to you you have no control tough right cool i understand that but when it's your own doing mate you deal with the consequences tough you know you may you make your own bed now you lay in it it's as simple as that that's my uh, my way of thinking so um yeah we're gonna have to wear steak.com Get ready, boys and girls. <laughs> Actually, no. Tell a lie. Get ready, ladies and gentlemen. Because if we were to wear steak.com, boys and girls will not be allowed to wear it. So if you go to the mega store after we get steak.com, um, you'll find that the kids' kits won't have a sponsor because it's a betting sponsor and that's 18 plus only. The kids' shirts are going to look better than the adults. Anyway, <laughs> let's move on to the last story as, um, yeah, we got more from Saudi FC. So uh, here it is. Here's the latest. Thomas Partey is one of the names being targeted by the Saudi League. Uh, so Thomas Partey could be on his way out. He, apparently he's already on his way out of, um, of Arsenal. But 
Here's another one. He he converted, actually. He became Muslim not long ago. He's Ghanaian, obviously. And um, yeah, there you are. He's been targeted by the Saudis. So. <laughs> Another one, as DJ Khaled would say. So, there we are. That's the latest. Let me know your thoughts on everything that I've discussed. Um, especially from the beginning, Koulibaly off to Saudi. Ziyech, potentially off to Saudi. Four or five players maybe off to Saudi from Chelsea. Wage bill going down. Stake.com, Paramount+. Plus. Thomas Partey. Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comment section below. Thank you very much. And I will see all of you tomorrow for a brand new one. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button if you are new. Hit the notification bell to be notified once I've uploaded. Smash the like button if you have enjoyed this. And I'll see you tomorrow, people. In a bit, take care and peace.